So this question is a graph question. We can see that our graph is of a line that is linear. That line has a y-intercept here at 7 and has an x-intercept here at positive 8. The question says the point with coordinates d comma 4, which in essence means x equals d and y equals 4, lies on the line shown. What is the value of d? So I think... You know, when I have a, so this is a, graph is like a subset of what I call diagram questions. Whenever I have a graph drawn for me, I like to pay attention to it and use maybe some visual cues. So I can figure out that when y is 4, the x value that corresponds with that y is somewhere here between 3 and 4. The only challenge with that is that when I simplify these fractions, they're all between 3 and 4, right? They're all possibilities. 26 divided by 7 is 3.7. 24 divided by 7 is 3.4, right? So these are all, and this one is going to be 3.37 or something like that. So these are all between 3 and 4, kind of roughly in the right area for them to be potentially correct. So I had to do a bit more work here than what I was hoping to be able to, than what I was hoping to have to do. So I'm going to use another strategy. I'm going to say, hey, I know that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. I also know that the y-intercept, my b value, is equal to 7. How about my slope? Can I find my slope? Sure I can. So if I'm going from here from y-intercept to x-intercept, that means I'm going to travel down 7 units. So my rise would be 7. Don't forget, slope is rise over run. And by run, I'd go to the right 8 units. So my slope is negative 7 eighths. And based upon this here, I know that my y-value is 4. So I pretty much have everything that I need, and I know that x is equal to d, right? So I can replace that with d. So I pretty much have everything I need. Let's start replacing these letters with actual numbers. So again, y equals mx plus b becomes y is 4 equals m, which I found to be negative 7 eighths, times x, but x, we've been told, is equal to d, plus b, but I know that my y-intercept is 7. So all I have left to do here is some algebra, getting ahead of myself a bit. So I should subtract 7 from both sides here. So that's gone. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. It's equal to negative 7 eighths d. I can multiply by negative 8 sevenths, right? The reciprocal of negative 7 eighths so that these cancel each other out. And then on this side, I have 20 four over seven. 24 over seven is equal to D. So I find my exact value for D and therefore now I know for sure that choice C is the correct answer.